Boom, shake the room, Fire Nation. JLD here with an audio masterclass with one of the original sharks from Shark Tank, Kevin Harrington, and his partner in crime, Mark Tim. And together, the three of us are going to talk about the secrets to having everything you want in life. And the topics that we chat about in this podcast will be expanded upon on a live free webinar this Sunday, March 17th at 8 p.m. Eastern or Tuesday, March 19th at 2 p.m. Eastern to learn more and to register for this value bomb webinar. Make sure to head over to eofire.com slash zig. That's Z-I-G for Zig Ziglar. That's eofire.com slash zig. Definitely head over there, Fire Nation, and sign up for this free webinar on the secret framework to growing your business while working less, where Kevin Harrington and Mark Tim will be dropping value bombs there. So in case you don't know who Kevin Harrington is, he is an original shark on the hit TV show Shark Tank, the creator of the infomercial and pioneer of the As Seen on TV brand. His business ventures have produced well over $5 billion in global sales, and 20 of his companies have topped $100 million in revenue. And Mark Tim has been a serial entrepreneur for nearly two decades and has started more than a dozen companies. And his success in business in the digital marketplace have led to his partnering with Kevin Harrington to 100x Kevin's own digital brand. And Mark is now the CEO of Exponential Inc., a partnership with Kevin Harrington and his son, Brian Harrington. So don't go away, Fire Nation, and I'll see you this Sunday or Tuesday at eofire.com slash zig. Hiring is challenging, but there's one place you can go where hiring is simple, fast, and smart. That place is ziprecruiter.com slash fire. Post your job with one click, then their powerful matching technology scans millions of resumes across this network of hundreds of job boards to find the right people for your job and actively invite them to apply. So you get qualified candidates fast. And right now you can try ZipRecruiter for free at ziprecruiter.com slash fire. That's zip ZipRecruiter.com slash fire. ZipRecruiter, the smartest way to hire. Kevin, say what's up to Fire Nation and share something interesting about yourself that most people don't know. I got to tell you, I travel, I work, I'm constantly on the run and most people would think that that's me always, but actually one of the passions that I have in my life is 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 getting better at the game of golf. So, which is, I love watching it. I love playing it. I love, you know, there's something pretty cool about being able to go out for four hours out on a golf course, not have anybody calling you, texting you, bothering you because you're you're away from it all and just kind of relax. I like to smoke a little cigar along with that and play a great game of golf. And I've I've I brought on some mentors in my game of golf, you know, golf coaches to help me get a little bit better. And I'm, I've, I've knocked a bunch of strokes off. But that's one that's one of the things that uh, is near and dear to me is getting my game out and and taking uh, t- taking a, 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 having a little fun and playing some amazing golf courses around the world. Well, Kevin, I've known you for a few years now, well enough to know that your actual golf nickname is Chi Chi, which I'm telling you, my man, right here in Palmas del Mar, Puerto Rico, I live in a community where two 18 hole golf courses were created by none other than Puerto Rico's Chi Chi Rodriguez. So, my man, jump on a puddle jumper. Come visit me. You can stay at my house. We'll go out. You'll teach me some things on the links because I haven't quite got there yet myself, but I'm always looking to learn more and we'll have a good time. Sound like a plan? I'm in. You got it, man. <laughs> take, take. Let's do it. He's got that little uh, way that he does some crazy moving around on the course. I do a little bit of that too. So I like to have a little fun. So, we'll have some uh, fun. That invitation. We'll have some cigars. We'll make it a weekend. It'll be great. And we also are being joined by Mark Tim, who, of course, you guys got the lowdown on in the introduction part of this podcast episode. So, Mark, say what's up to Fire Nation and also share something interesting about yourself that most people don't know. What up, Fire Nation? Well, here, number one, I've witnessed Chi-Chi Harrington in action, so I can validate uh, that. (laughs) And number two, I can actually add some value to your guys' conversation right here because something people don't know about me is I'm a pilot. So you say jump on that puddle jumper. Well, I happen to own a puddle jumper that might just have to make a trip down to Puerto Rico carrying Chi-Chi Harrington down there to, uh, to play said golf on said golf course. So I love being a pilot. That's 
actually my escape zone up there in the clouds. That's the world that I love where I can think and uh, and really uh, love life up there in the sky. Well, I love where this is going. We're going to take this more offline after our call because we get a nice airport, Saiba, right up the way. You can land the plane, be in my house in 20 minutes. Life will be good. But Fire Nation, for all of you that are listening right now, you know that we're going to be focused on the secret to having everything in life. This is a quote from Zig Ziglar that uh, Kevin has just loved for years and years and years. And one of the reasons why he was so drawn to the Zig Ziglar Corporation and team and family and all of that stuff. So we're going to be talking about that as we kind of go through this audio masterclass today. But I want to just reinforce something else I said in the intro is that what you need to do from this point right now is join us this Sunday, March 17th, or Tuesday, March 19th, because there's going to be a completely free webinar on the secret framework to growing your business and working less. So if you want the secret framework to growing your business and working less, then you want to make sure you sign up for this free live webinar either Sunday or Tuesday. And if you want to do that, it's eofire.com slash zig. That's Z-I-G. eofire.com slash zig. The beautiful thing is this is a podcast. You can press pause right now. Go ahead, do that. Come back and join us. We will not have gone anywhere. I promise you, you won't have missed anything. But what I do want to do is keep this thing moving. So Kevin, I know that you travel extensively. It's like you're always on the move. It's incredible seeing you on social media. I love that stuff. But tell me, what do you see out there that really excites you, that fires you up? Great question. So I'll give you an example. Last week, I was in Zurich, Switzerland, Frankfurt, Germany, Stockholm, Sweden. And there was thousands of people that came to all three of, of these events. We had amazing just entrepreneurs on fire yes. is what I want to say. I mean, the, the, looking at the gleam in the eye of the entrepreneur, this is my life today. So I, I flew straight from Frankfurt, landed in Los Angeles. I did an event the, this morning with 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 a, a digital marketing guy here in San and, and now I'm down in San Diego. But yesterday I was in Irvine, California with 500 people. Tomorrow I'll be with a big group down here and then. And the first week of April, I go Singapore, Hong Kong, and New Delhi, India. Same kind of thing. Thousands of entrepreneurs with gleams in their eye that are just so passionate about building their business. This is where I'm spending a lot of my time now. I'm just loving hanging out with entrepreneurs, but not the, the, these are entrepreneurs that really are dialed in, want to spend a day or so really hanging out with the right people and getting some great advice and mentoring along the way. So that's, that's, that is a passion of mine. And and I've just been having a lot of fun doing it. What I love is you're at these events, you're meeting these people, you're having these conversations. You're obviously seeing things that don't exist in the world that should exist or something that does exist in the world that can be improved upon. I mean, that's exactly how I started Entrepreneurs on Fire and how you started so many of your successful businesses. You filled a void that needed to be filled in a very powerful way. So talk to us, to Fire Nation, about something that you're currently working on, that you're passionate about, that you have found from traveling and speaking and seeing all these successful, inspired entrepreneurs. What are you working on that you're fired up about? One of the things a lot of people don't realize about me, I, I did get into the As Seen and TV business uh, along the way, but I, I actually spent the first 30 years of my life trying to figure out you know, what I, you know, how I wanted to be an entrepreneur and what I wanted to do as an entrepreneur. So I, I was going door to door selling when, when I was in high school with a, with a driveway ceiling business. And then I was calling on people to get new furnaces and air conditioning systems when I got to college building a heating and air conditioning company. But the bottom line is I was a salesman. I'm, I built my businesses. I became an entrepreneur due to the fact that I learned how to sell and got motivated by people that taught these techniques. So, um, you know, it's, it's, it, I don't think it's too much of a secret. We've talked about Zig Ziglar a little bit here, but when, when, when Zig, uh, first, his first book, See You at the Top, it was, I was in high school. 
bought it, got motivated to want to do bigger and bigger things. And that's when I got into 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 heating and air conditioning and then into eventually the, the as seen in TV infomercial business. So so I spent 30 years trying to figure out what I wanted to do. Then I spent that was the first 30 years of my life. The next 30 years of my life I spent doing and building. And as you said, taking products to the next level that changed people's lives, problem solving products, uh, fitness products by Tony Little uh, and uh, kitchen products, Jack LaLanne and the juicer and George Foreman and people like this problem solvers. Right. So um, I loved solving problems. And so here, as I spent my next 30 years learning the selling techniques of Zig Ziglar, Zig was a master I, I was mentored through his teachings, through his audio books, through his his books, through all of the, you know, watch him, you know, Zig, you go on stage in front of tens of thousands of people, right? What a motivator. So um, this is, you know, when a secret to closing the sale book came out with over a hundred closes, I was using these closes in my infomercial. So I now am spending my next 30 years of my life Actually, my goal is just to mentor and coach and help entrepreneurs take themselves to the next level, find those great problem solvers, as you mentioned, John, and really take it up a notch, take it to the to the to the, the full uh, potential that they can. So loving every day of what I'm doing in this next 30 years is just going to be super powerful, connecting in with entrepreneurs on a global basis to mentor and coach them to, to their full potential. I love the path that you've chosen, Kevin, because you could have gone in a million different ways. I mean, literally the world is your oyster. Like, what do you want to do? You could do a million things and you're choosing to go down to the base level and say, hey, I want to inspire that next the next generation of entrepreneurs. I want to inspire that one entrepreneur that was maybe never going to do anything because they were missing A or B or X or Y or Z. But now I gave that to them and they're going to go off and they're going to be a world changer. And that ripple effect fire nation that Kevin's on a mission to create is absolutely inspiring to me. And Kevin, I just got one thing for you. Piece of feedback. Don't sell yourself short on 30 years, brother. We live in an amazing time. You look great. You take care of yourself. You might have 60, 80 years left with all the anti-aging and all the stuff that's going on here, man. Stay at the top of your game, brother. You have some of that stuff down in Puerto Rico, too? Dude, we got all of that stuff down here in Puerto Rico. Come and visit me. We have a lot of great conversations to have about that. I can't wait. Thank you. I'm looking forward to it. So, Mark, let's bring you into the conversation here on this point, too, because I want to know how the these collisions happened of these two powerful planets, you know, Zig Ziglar, Kevin Harrington, and now here we have Mark Tim in the house. So kind of fill Fire Nation in on your piece in this puzzle and why you're passionate about this mission as well. I love that you've given me the opportunity to speak here because I'm actually only on here with you because of the mentorship of Zig Ziglar and the mentorship of Kevin Harrington. I'm an entrepreneur myself. I've been an entrepreneur for two decades, started over 12 businesses. I've had seven exits and I got to the point on my last exit where I said, what do I really want to do? And in that journey, I reconnected with my mentor, Zig Ziglar. He was my mentor at 19 years old. And then I met his protege, Kevin Harrington. And and he became my mentor. And when I met Kevin and I figured out the part of the journey that he was on, and by the way, he said the next 30 years did not leave out additional 30 years after that. So I think he has plans <laughs> beyond that, but yes. he's doing this nice bucketing thing. And so I decided, you know what? If a guy like Kevin that's worth what he's worth, it's no secret he's done well in life, and it's no secret that he's been crushing it out there in Fire Nation. And so if he is willing to spend the next 30 years of his life helping entrepreneurs, that is a train that I can hitch to. And, you know, I'm the make it happen guy. Kevin's got this vision of helping entrepreneurs all over the world, and he is all over the world, and I'm making it happen along with him as his partner, and I'm learning a ton from him. But the biggest thing that I really, you know, want to share is that when, you know, when we're out there and I see these entrepreneurs coming up and they want to ask questions and they want to pitch things and they want to talk to him. And, you know, and the thing that really attracts me to him is that he's got unbelievable patience to share. And what my motivation is, uh, JLD, is 
I'm really tired of people teaching as the copy of a copy of a copy. They read a book somewhere, they saw some training, and then they came out with this training program, and it's five times removed from the source. And so when I looked at this and said, wait a minute, you mean to tell me that we actually could teach people, that we could let them learn from the master, from who Kevin learned from, that, that Kevin is actually willing to teach as a master? And I think what entrepreneurs need today, that people jumped on board and started throwing out all these different training programs and shiny objects and this program and this framework and this formula. And, and these entrepreneurs are so hungry and they're buying it up. But it's four and five levels removed from the source. And so what got me fired up is that what if we were able to bring to entrepreneurs the source code, the original source code, the fountain of youth of where sales training came from, Zig Ziglar. We went back and found the actual beta tapes of Zig teaching the concepts that Kevin loved and brought them to life and then showed how Kevin used them in his life. So when we talk about training entrepreneurs, it's not five levels removed. We're going to deliver the actual source code that they can plug into their business to crush it like Kevin Harrington and impact 250 million people like Zig Ziglar did. You said a lot of things that I loved. The one thing that I really want to hone in on right now is the copy of a copy of a copy. Fire Nation, if there's anything you do in this world, be you, be unique, be genuine, be authentically you. I just actually, as we're speaking, two days ago, got back from an incredible conference. It was called PodFest. I was not only the opening keynote, but I was the featured roast. So they had the roast of John Lee Dumas. And believe me, I've given people a lot of great ammunition over the years to use during the roast. And they really handed me my booty, you could say. I mean, they didn't hold back. It was hysterical. Everybody was laughing. I was laughing. It was fun. It was a beautiful thing. But the one thing that I loved that at the end when people kind of say, okay, John, like we just ripped on you for 20 minutes, but let me just say a couple nice things about you. The very consistent thing they said about me is, John, we're just very impressed and admire the fact that you've always been you. Like you are not somebody else. Like, you know, you're enthusiastic. You say fire a lot and you say ignite and you just really are sometimes over the top with this and that and you do all these things, but you're you and that is admirable. So that was echoed to me during the roast. That was just echoed by Mark Tim right there. And I think that's something that you find need to make sure that you're taking away from this conversation is whoever you are, be that individual going forward, learn from myself, learn from Kevin Harrington, learn from Mark Tim, learn from Zig Ziglar, but then make it you, make it your own. So Kevin, we're going to do a little finish this statement comment right here. Nothing happens in the business until you make sales. No, nothing happens until you sell something. And this is, this is, I learned it early on uh, when I knocked on 15 doors and got, you know, the door slammed in my face most of the time. And no, no, nobody said yes. There was no income. There was no sales. I had to learn how to sell way back. And I just, I think this is something that people on a day-to-day -day basis don't put enough time and effort into thinking about closing the sale. And I know Mark can talk to this, but it, it, the average person needs more than one close, more than two closes. I think it's a multi, I think Mark, you've got some facts and figures there, but to make a sale, sometimes it takes four five or even six closing techniques to get that sale. So um, I took it upon myself as a young entrepreneur, knocking on doors and making, building businesses. And then when I started in the infomercial business, I had to learn how to sell product. I had to learn how to get people. People don't tune in to watch an infomercial. I had to get their attention and then solve problems and keep them engaged for 30 minutes to watch a 30 minute show, call the number, order the product, get their credit card out. You know, I have failed more than anybody else that I know of in the world because, yeah, we I've, I've done many, many projects that didn't work. But I learned how to sell. And by selling, then I tightened up those percentages, got better. And then we hit home runs along the way that became global successes. And many of these that created ultimately the billions of dollars in sales that I've done. Fire Nation, I want to say it one more time. Nothing happens in business until you make a sale, period, end of story. So the secret to having everything in life 
Well, one of those secrets is you need to learn how to make sales. And everybody is a salesman and a saleswoman, period, end of story, Fire Nation. If you are a father trying to get your kid to bed, you know, you're selling them that you're going to read them one bedtime story and then they're going to go to sleep. Whatever you're doing in life, if you actually just step back and focus on that, Every day, you're doing different things as a salesman or a saleswoman, and why not become great at that? And we're actually going to take a quick break, but when we do get back, Mark's going to talk about something called the entrepreneurial mountain, so you are not going to want to miss that, Fire Nation. And before we do jump off for our sponsor, I just want to share this. You need to be here this Sunday or Tuesday, that's the 17th or 19th, Fire Nation, for this free webinar. We're going to be going into so much more depth about everything we're talking about today. This webinar is the secret framework to growing your business and working less. Register now, eofire.com slash zig. I want to see you there. We'll be right back after we thank our sponsor. As entrepreneurs, we face a variety of challenges every single day, but one of the biggest challenges I hear about from other entrepreneurs on a daily basis, and one that I face while growing my own business, is finding the right candidates to hire. Luckily, Zip Recruiter makes it easy. You'll see exactly what I mean if you visit ziprecruiter.com slash fire. To start, Zip Recruiter sends your job to over 100 of the web's leading job boards, which saves you a ton of time, but they don't stop there. Next, Zip Recruiter's powerful technology scans thousands of resumes to identify people with the right skills and experience and actively invites them to apply to your job so you get qualified candidates fast. ZipRecruiter is so effective that 80% of employers who post on ZipRecruiter get a quality candidate through the site within the first day. And right now you can try ZipRecruiter for free at ZipRecruiter.com slash fire. That's ZipRecruiter.com slash fire. ZipRecruiter.com slash fire. ZipRecruiter, the smartest way to hire. All right, Fire Nation, we are back. And Mark, I want to start off with you because Kevin set this up beautifully about nothing happens in business until you make a sale. Period. End of story. Talk about that more. Expound upon that and share with us the entrepreneurial mountain. I love that statement. And it's true because a lot of entrepreneurs, they have this vision for starting a business, but unless they're selling, unless they have a sale, unless they're making sales, they don't have a business. They have a very expensive hobby. And so many entrepreneurs that we connect with out there that flock to Kevin at, at speeches and that we meet and all over the world that gleam in their eye. Here's the one thing that they have in common. They all have a product, a purpose, or a passion that the world needs. I've never seen so many insanely amazing ideas. The entrepreneurial spirit is so on fire. It's so creative. And they've got such incredible ideas. And they truly do have ideas the world needs. But there's something keeping their idea from the world. And it's this. It's a fear of selling or a misunderstanding of what real selling is. In their mind, it's sloppy, it's sleazy, it's slimy. Hollywood has, has demonized you know, selling. And so they, their, their spine prickles when they have the idea of selling. The problem is, is that they fear it so much that they are depriving the world of this amazing idea that they've got. And that's the mountain that I'm talking about, because I believe and Kevin believes that every entrepreneur, when they decide to become an entrepreneur, they are climbing a mountain. That's the one universal word picture that we can use. Every entrepreneur, when they say, I'm going to be an entrepreneur, when they get that product, that purpose or passion, they say, I'm going to be an entrepreneur. They have to climb the mountain. They have to. Now, there's all kinds of paths to get there. There's all kinds of steps along the way. They all start out at the bottom dreaming about this massive difference they're going to make or this massive amount of money. And then they start going up the mountain and they start procrastinating. And they're procrastinating because they're afraid to actually share the idea with the world. They might get a no. You know, I I love the story of of Kevin. I've watched Kevin literally receive 50, you know, thousands, thousands and thousands of pitches and give pitches. And when someone tells him no, I literally see the inside of him smile (laughs) because he knows that the It's true. I've watched it. I can see non-verbally because what Kevin knows is that no is the second best response you can get other than a yes, because it means he's a decision maker. And so you shouldn't fear the word no, like most entrepreneurs don't want to hear the word no. You should embrace it and 
say, I've got a live one on the line. This is a decision maker. I can turn this no into a yes with more information, with more value. And so now you're making it up the mountain. Now you're getting your idea out there. But then you enter the area where most entrepreneurs get stuck, and it's called the hardworking hustler phase. They're actually making some sales, but not enough to accomplish their dream, not enough to be financially free that they dreamed about doing, not the entrepreneur that they wanted to be. And this stage is kind of defined by if you're if you're with me right now in the word picture of the mountain, you're looking back down and it's too far to go back down. It's too far to go back down the mountain. But when you look up, all you see is fog. So the only option that you think you have left in front of you is simply to work harder. And that's what most entrepreneurs do when they get in that hardworking hustler phase is they work harder. They get up earlier. They stay up later. They work on Saturday. They work on Sunday. When in reality, that's not going to get them there because that's linear thinking. And I love hanging out with Kevin Harrington because I joke and say that Kevin Harrington does not have a plus sign on his calculator. Okay, (laughs) it doesn't exist. The guy only knows how to multiply. And that's because he's the absolute perpetual exponential thinker. And see, you get through the fog by thinking exponentially, not by working more, not by hustling harder, getting coaching, getting mentoring, by reaching out, by getting involved, by listening to John Lee Dumas, by listening to this masterclass, by by what you put in your head. Zig Ziglar used to say, you can change where you are and who you are by changing one thing. And that's what you put in your mind. An exponential thinker stops watching all this TV and starts listening to podcasts and starts filling their mind with amazing you know, content so that they can bust through the fog. They reach out and they start taking amazing master classes so they can bust through the fog. And when they bust through the fog, they find out it's not snowing and raining all the time in the hardworking hustler phase. Above the fog is the sunshine. It, we're in Puerto Rico now, baby. We're playing golf with <laughs> Chichi Rodriguez. I mean, it's it's like we want, you know, we're, we're soaking it up at this stage. And now they can not only only see the sunshine, but they see the top of the mountain and they know how far they've got to go because at the top of the mountain, that's where the exponential entrepreneurs hang out is on the top of the mountain. That's the journey that entrepreneurs are taking. That's the journey that Kevin and I, we meet entrepreneurs where they're at. I proudly say I'm the Sherpa, man. I mean, Kevin's up there. He's teaching. He's the source code. I'm the Sherpa. I'm meeting entrepreneurs where they're at. I'm taking them up the mountain because I know the path. I get them up to the top. And the cool thing about getting to the top of the mountain is we think that that's where the journey ends. But I'm here to tell you, and this is something that John Lee Dumas already knows and Kevin Harrington knows, at the top of the mountain, that's not the end, my friends. That's the beginning. That's where you begin as the entrepreneur you dreamed of being. Because when you get to the top of that mountain, you see all the other mountaintops. You see all the other exponential entrepreneurs. You see all these cool people that you can partner with, that you can joint venture with. That I mean, it's limitless. You see other mountains to climb. You see how much higher and you can see how high they are. So that's the journey of the entrepreneur. That's the journey up the mountain that we are taking entrepreneurs up. We want to get them all. We want to do it together. Let's do this together, Fire Nation. I mean, let's get to the top of this mountain. Let's all become exponential entrepreneurs and then start crushing it together with all of this content. And one of the quickest ways to crush it is to embrace the fact that we're in sales. And because sales is noble, it's honorable. It's something that we should be proud to do, not fear doing. So that's the journey. That's the entrepreneurial mountain. And that's a big part of what Kevin Harrington and Mark Tim and Zig Ziglar are doing for entrepreneurs. Value bombs are being dropped all over the place, Fire Nation. One thing that I loved amongst the many things that Mark shared is no means that they're a decision maker, Fire Nation. Now you have the contact to the right individual. Find a way to get to yes. No is the second best response you can possibly get because that person can now make a decision, make it happen. So we are going to end with some words of wisdom from Kevin, and he has many, many words. But before we get to that, I do want to bring it back to you, Mark, and I want to really have you Break down for Fire Nation, how can we as entrepreneurs, as entrepreneurs on fire, as Fire Nation, plug into what you and Kevin and the Zig Ziglar family are doing? 
I think you gave the cleanest path already, and that is go to eofire.com slash zig, sign up for you know our live training. We're doing this live, by the way, so this is not some recorded uh, webinar. We're going live. I've got I've got a mystery guest that uh, you. Uh, his uh, I'm, I'm, I'm going to spill the beans because we are on Fire Nation. His initials might be Tom Ziegler, son of Zig Ziegler. <laughs> and so, you know, so I'm not, we're, we, we are we're, we're going to crush it. And, and I might actually be doing this live training from the headquarters of Zig Ziglar with the original pump that Zig Ziglar used to tell his iconic pump story as my backdrop on this live training. Am I a little fired up? Heck yeah, I'm a little fired up. And so, but but what I really want to get back to is that's how you can actually um, instantly plug in. Go to eofire.com slash zig, join me, join, you know, Tom, join, you know, uh, join us on this live training so that we can go deeper into all the concepts we're talking about so that we can give you value bomb after value bomb after value bomb. But I just want to also say that part of you getting involved at that level, one of the things that we're doing, you know, you talk about the no scenario. You know, I learned that from Kevin. Kevin taught me that, you know, when he he figured out that a no was the best thing he could get other than a yes. And so when I learned that from him, that's just one. That's just one of 20 value bombs that are going to be dropped by Kevin Harrington in this program. And so it's just one after another after another. When you're sitting there realizing a guy did five billion dollars in sales, he learned so much along the way and he's imparting that he's willing to share that. And so the coolest part about what we're doing is not just teaching, not just training, not just sharing, but we are creating a community of like-minded entrepreneurs that are on fire, like us, like Kevin, that want to learn from the source code. And then here's where the magic really happens. We cultivate a community to help each other. Because see, what we found in the past when we've put a few students in here, and we've only baited this, these students find each other and then they help each other. They start to exponentially think. I talked about getting to the top of the mountain and you get to meet other exponential entrepreneurs. We're cultivating those. We're putting them all, all into a community together so that they can help each other, that they can help each other source their products, sell their products. I mean, it's like putting, you know, nitric oxide into a car. It's like rocket fuel in a rocket, you know, when you surround yourself with other like-minded entrepreneurs that are ready to absolutely transcend the highest mountains out there and achieve their dreams. And so when we say, how do you plug into what we're doing? Start by joining us on the live training and then get involved in our community and then help other entrepreneurs crush it. Because remember how we started out this whole thing. You can have everything in life you want. You, meaning you listening right now, can have everything in life you want if you'll just help enough other people get what they want. And that's the whole key is helping others. You start helping others, that's the multiplication effect. And you do that by being in a community of like-minded entrepreneurs. Fire Nation, how can you not want to be involved in this event, in this live webinar where you're going to be getting some incredible special guests and special props and, of course, just straight fire from all the people that Mark was just talking about. So make sure that you're heading over to eofire.com slash zig to check out if either Sunday or Tuesday, March 17th or March 19th work for you. But guess what? If neither one of those work for you, um, number one, you might need to check your priorities because this needs to be one of those priorities, but still register, still sign up because there's a possible replay going out, or at least you can still get connected into the Ziggler organization and learn a lot more and different opportunities coming down the line. And if you're listening to this after March 19th of 2019, still head over to eofire.com slash zig because we're going to have something there for you. It could be a replay of the webinar. It could be something else that's going on relevant time-wise in the Zig Ziglar Corporation at that moment in time. So no matter what time it is, what year it is, eofire.com slash zig, we have something special waiting there for you. And Kevin, take it home, brother. You have some words of wisdom for Fire Nation. Take the stand, take the mic. It's all yours, brother. Thank you, buddy. I said it earlier. I think I failed more than anybody else out there hundreds and hundreds of times. And and that's those are factual numbers because I've done you've over 500 different projects that I invested in and and the majority more than more than half of them did not work but but this is the key the key is don't try to do all this stuff alone when I was doing things alone I would hit on one out of ten I would fail nine out of ten times when I started bringing in the dream team and we needed capital I brought in a former bank president that became our finance guy. He said, Kevin, you need to learn how to talk to the banks, 
to go raise money. You know, I'm a banker. I can help you is what he said. He raised us $3 million so we could grow the business. We went from 50 million a year to 150 to 300 and beyond. And this, this is because I said, I don't, I can't do this alone. I don't have the wisdom. If you're on the side of that mountain and you're trying to get up to the top and you've never been up, you know, climbing mountains, don't try that alone. Get that Sherpa, as Mark talked about, to be able to take you to the next step because you can rise stronger when you have that dream team, those experts, those mentors, those coaches, everything that I do, I don't care what it is. Um, you know, I, I, I in, in all parts of my life, I mentioned I have coaches and mentors in my golf life. I, I do speaking, I have speaking coaches, I have finance coaches, marketing coaches. JLD, you're a podcast coach to many people out there. You're one of the best at what you do. And if someone's going to get in that business, they're going to want to learn from the best. So it's it's my, my, my final words of wisdom, so to speak, is don't do it alone. Get some of the best people that you can to surround yourself with, mentors, coaches, etc. I do it. I know you do it. I know Mark does it. And that's going to take you to the next level in your business. Gentlemen, thank you so much for your time today. And Fire Nation, you, yes, you listening, are the average of the five people you spend the most time with. And who have you been hanging out with today? Well, me, Kevin Harrington, and Mark Tim. So uh, keep up the heat, all right? And of course, head over to eofire.com slash zig. Join us on one of these two live webinars. If it's past the webinar date, still head over there. There'll be something awesome waiting there for you. Kevin, Mark, thank you both for sharing your truth, your genius with Fire Nation today. For that, we salute you and we will catch you on the flip side. Thank you for having us. Hey, Fire Nation, hope you enjoyed our chat with Kevin Harrington, Mark Tim, and of course, myself today. Wow, that entrepreneurial mountain. I can just see the climb that I still have ahead of me in a good way. That's what life's all about. It's exciting. It's fun. And I really do hope you join us, eofire.com slash zig. A lot of great stuff coming up in those webinars. Fire Nation, I will catch you there or I'll see you on the flip side. Ready to hire a team but not sure where to start? Luckily, there's Zip Recruiter, the smartest way to hire. So what makes ZipRecruiter so smart? It learns what you like. When you post a job on ZipRecruiter and start reviewing applications, your feedback teaches ZipRecruiter's matching technology more about the precise skills and experiences you're looking for so it can invite more people who have them to apply. This helps you quickly get better and better candidates until you find the perfect one. And right now, you can try ZipRecruiter for free at Zip ZipRecruiter.com slash fire. That's ZipRecruiter.com slash fire. ZipRecruiter, the smartest way to hire.